first step is to heat up the old adhesive holding lens in place. You're only gonna need 20 to 30 seconds of direct heat to soften old adhesive. Once you have loosened old adhesive grab yourself a pair of pliers or channel locks and start to loosen. Lefty Lucy. If your new camera lens does not come with IR filter already attached then you're gonna have to use stock filter from old lens. Depending on where you purchased it from. Race Day Quad sent me exact replica as stock so I did not have to mess with that. If you don't know what I am talking about here is what it looks like. If you don't use this filter you're gonna see that the color is off and it's not gonna look good at all. I am making this video so you don't make this mistake. Here is an inside look of your HDF PV camera. The camera lens is 19 by 19 by 20 millimeters. It weighs roughly 6 grams it is capable of doing 720p at 120 frames per second. It has a field of view of 150 degrees and a low latency of around 28 milliseconds and is capable of doing 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 screen ratio. Grab your new lens and get ready to screw it inside of camera housing making sure you go righty tighty this time. Here is a comparison of new and old lens. New lens will come with focus ring but it will not keep it in place of focus. To make sure it doesn't come out of focus make sure you use some type of glue this way it's one and done. Make sure new lens is free of any dirt or dust before you start to install in camera housing. Time to adjust your lens by screwing it in or out until focus is right where you want it. You are gonna need you goggles in this step and go ahead and power them up. You're also gonna need a battery for your drone and go ahead and plug that bad boy in. At this point you're almost done. You're gonna want to loosen or tighten until your camera gets into focus. This is where your goggles will come into play. As a robot even I know that. You should do this outside if possible approximately 5 to 10 feet from an object such as a brick wall or a bush or a shrub would work great.
Unfortunately it was raining cats and dogs on this day. Once your camera lens is focused you will need some super glue or any type of adhesive of your choice and very carefully apply some on the threads between your new lens and the camera housing. This will make sure you stay in focus even after a crash. Because you're gonna crash. Now would be a good time to check if your lens stayed in focus and if all is well. Give yourself a pat on the back because you are done my friend. Great job. At this point once you're done making a mess and you have given the adhesive of your choice a chance to dry. The only thing to do now is to reassemble your drone and get out there and fly. If this video helped you or you learned something go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe it would mean a lot to me if you did and it would help others in the same boat I found myself in. Thanks for watching.